Yes, welcome everyone here to the Smash Sports Show right here on Smash FM here on a Monday morning here in Melbourne. Of course, uh, let's uh, go across to our friends over in the US and we're heading to Boom in North Carolina. Of course, uh, speak with our favourite uh, App State uh, women's basketball team. And of course, uh, their season uh, will be uh, underway, hopefully uh, at the end of this year in particular. And of course, we've got three very special guests joining us right now to tell us a bit about uh of course, uh, how everything's going over there in the US. Thanks, uh, all three, for joining us. Thank you for having us. Thank you. Thank you. No worries. Well, I'll get each of you to introduce yourselves and uh, what position you're hoping to play on the court uh, in the upcoming season later this year. Okay, I'm Michaela Porter. I'm a fifth year senior, and I'll probably be playing the three or the four this season. Um, I'm Emily Carver. I'm a freshman and I'll be a guard. I'm Alexia Alesh. I am a transfer. I'm a senior on the court, but a grad student in school. And I'm a forward, so I'm a four or a five. Now, of course, we have a very long uh, to, the, to the season coming up. How's everything traveling uh, with, I'm assuming that you've done at least some sort of training or something similar? Um, yeah, we uh, started back all together at the beginning of June, and um, we've been at it ever since. Our coach is not trying to burn us out completely before the season starts and throughout the summer. So we just been, you know, getting to know each other on and off the court and um, trying to build some type of chemistry before we all come back in August and have to grind before the season starts. How good is it to um, to come together? I would say it's really good, especially as a freshman coming in, like getting this time before we have preseason just to get with the team and really like learn the chemistry and stuff like that is really good before we actually like kick it off during the year. Now, this question in particular goes to uh, Emily and Alexia, uh, of course, uh, coming across to App State. Um, how have both you found um, being there at Boomer in North Carolina? Um, I like it a lot up here, like, especially like coming in, being so young. It's just great to have like such good people surround that you're surrounded by and all the coaches and the upperclassmen, they're really good at welcoming us and making sure that we fit in with the rest of the team. Yeah, for me, it's been good too. Um, coming from playing at a school already, I kind of like, kind of knew what to expect but I didn't expect to be so welcomed everybody's so great here North Carolina is definitely different from New Jersey but it's it's been a good different I like being here I like um, being on my own and again like the people here are really great so I appreciate that and I like that. Michael this is your fifth season uh, with App State um, you might as well tell us um, is there anything that you want to um, achieve, even though I know that uh, you've achieved so much throughout your time there at App State? Um, I would say, like, uh, probably just to make some type of all conference team. Um, personally, my goal is to get defensive player of the year. That was one of my goals kind of last year, too, um, but it didn't really fall through. But I got one more year to try to prove myself. So that's definitely on my list of goals that I want to meet and then just you know being a great teammate and continuing to be somebody that people can lean on and come to whenever they need to I know the system I know the coaches so um just being there for my teammates and being the best me for the team and just staying this question to you Michaela as well um tell us a couple of the other teammates that uh, stayed with you uh, from last season so we got Janae, Brooke Bigot, Aaliyah Gilbert, um, Faith Alstein, Dane Bertolina, and myself. Um, so I think that's like a really, really good group. Um, we got all different types of people, all different types of players, uh, people that, you know, can be a mo role model and uh, help those who just came in. Um, so it's like from each um you know, position group, I feel like there was at least one person who came back from last season, which is really helpful for all the new people. 
And I think that's just going to be even more beneficial for the, you know, the year to come because we're so, we're easily able to help people migrate into our system and our culture. So I think that um, this group coming back and the new people that we added is going to be really good. Emily and Alexia, um, why did both of you uh, choose App State? Um, I chose App State because they were the first people that were showing interest in me. And like literally ever since that day, I always knew that like, it's just a family atmosphere here. And like, especially moving away from home, like you just want something that feels like your family. And anytime I stepped on campus here, I knew it felt like that. And so I just felt like this is a place I would really belong. Um, for me, so I have family here in North Carolina. So I was looking to go either somewhere in North Carolina or South Carolina. And all the schools that I looked at here, it was just with the coaches. I had like a really good connection with them. And I didn't feel like that. I didn't have that any at any of the other schools I looked at. And they were just like doing this again. It wasn't really like the facilities or what's important. It's the people that are important. And being on all the Zoom calls and talking to the whole coaching staff and some of the players, I saw that here like it really is a family type environment and the people are great. And that's kind of all that I cared about doing this again. So that's really what it was for me. I, I love the coaches and just the team. It was great. Obviously, let's see, obviously you mentioned that uh, you've uh, transferred from St. Hall um, there in New Jersey um, to down here uh, to North Carolina. Uh, as you mentioned, it was pretty easy for you to make that choice to come home uh, to North Carolina. But uh, was it easy in regards to, you know, knowing that, to decide to go the extra season? Yeah. Um, so for me, I still have um, another year of eligibility as a senior. So I kind of always plan to do another year. But now that I have that extra year, like it's it's even better because I'm trying to get my MBA. And here they have a really good two-year program. So it just works out perfectly for me because now I can do another year of basketball while getting my MBA. So it really like, it worked out well for me. What are your goals for your four four seasons um, in college? Um, I would say, especially just this year, just doing whatever like the team needs me to do. Like obviously coming as a freshman, you never know like how much playing time you're gonna get or whatever, but just being like the supporter or whatever the team needs, I just feel like that's my goal, at least for this year. Uh, Michaela, I'm assuming this is your last season, am I correct? What are your future ambitions post-college? Um, I want to play overseas um, at least for a year or two. I don't know. Um, however long my body will allow me to, I don't know. Um, but right now, that's like, that's the goal for me. Um, yeah, I mean, I want to play overseas for the experience. My brother played overseas for a year and he liked it. So I just want to see how it would be. Now, how did all three get involved in basketball and why did you choose it? I got involved in basketball at a very, very young age because my dad is a basketball coach. So I just like was, I've always been around the game and then he put me in when I was very young. So then I just fell in love with the game. And then ever since then, I've just been playing. Yeah, um, for me, I also started when I was young. It was like fourth grade and I was playing soccer and I was so much taller than everybody else. So the coach of the basketball team told my mom to sign me up for basketball. And as soon as she did that, I just, I loved it. It was so fun. I was still the tallest, but I like, it was a sport for me. Oddly enough, this was not anything that I thought I would be doing in life ever. My brother and my dad played basketball and like my dad played in college. He coached in college, but I didn't really like basketball like that. I wanted to just like be a cheerleader kind of like my mom, but in like middle school, I started playing, you know, just for fun and I was kind of good at it, I guess. That's how I got here. I think, I don't know. And then <laughs> no, but really, uh, I didn't really like it that much. And then I started playing more in like middle school and then I started getting kind of good. And then my mom kind of sat me down and was like, you know, like you could get a scholarship or you could not play AAU and we could start saving money for college funds, you know, for you to go to school. So I had to just kind of make that decision and 
that's how I ended up here. It's still crazy to me that I'm playing basketball in college. Yeah, but all three you mentioned right at the start, what position you're hoping to play uh, or will be playing uh, when the season starts. Do you eat? Do either of you have a preferred preference where you love to play on the court? I mean, I like to play guard. That's just where I've always played. But like when I was in high school, I kind of had to like with your high school team, you kind of have to do everything. You have to play all positions, but I would prefer to be a guard. Um, for me as a post player, I kind of I prefer to be on the perimeter and just shoot threes, stay away from the contact. So that's what I like. Yeah, I agree. I think I like to play more on the perimeter. Last season, I played like kind of a post player. So I would say like a stretch four. I like that position. Any highlights throughout all three or basketball journey so far? Um, I don't know if this is considered a highlight, but well, yeah, I guess it is. Um, just like the relationships and like the people that I've met throughout like playing like AAU and then I went to Cincinnati, University of Cincinnati before I transferred here. So just those relationships that I have with my teammates that um, that I had at that school and then the relationships here that I've built and will continue to build. I think like that's one thing that I cherish the most about playing basketball is just like the connections that you can create and that'll last you a lifetime because you just never know who you'll need in the long run because the ball stops bouncing for everybody eventually so I would say that's the biggest highlight for me throughout my career I'm gonna go off what KK said because I was thinking the same thing especially like me being a freshman just like all the people that I can look up to like all the upperclassmen and then like the coaches are just great people that just show me like good things to know in life and stuff like that um yeah I mean I agree just the relationships you make, it's like you wouldn't expect to like become so close to the people that you do because like they're your teammates, but you're with them all the time, especially last year with the pandemic. Like that was our bubble. We couldn't we couldn't hang out with anybody else. So we were with our teammates every day. And now just me like being here, I still talk to them like every day. Like they're my closest friends. So, yeah, it's a highlight. All three just mentioned about you know, uh, relationships in basketball. Um, the, my next question I'm going to ask is, how special is your coaching staff there at App State? And my second part of, my, of that question as well is, how important is your family and your parents being, especially living far away from home for some of you? The coaching staff here is great. Like, if you need anything, they're here, like, for you to talk to them and – they're just always pushing you to be like a better person on and off the court. And like my family is some, are people that are really, really close to me. Like when I first got here, I was FaceTiming them like all the time, but like now I'm kind of getting off of it because like the people that I've met here just feel like family. Like when I'm missing home, I can just go hang out with the team or talk to the coaches. Like the people here are just so great. Yeah. The coaches here, like um, they truly care. They care about you off the court. Cause I know there's some coaches where they just care about, how you are on the basketball court and like off the court like it doesn't matter but here they really care about you they check in they want what's best for you and like I said before that's why I chose this school because of the coaches so yeah the coaches are great here and um with family I mean my parents live in Jersey so going to school there was great like I wouldn't be here without them but I, I think I'm old enough now to where like I'm okay being away from them and being here like I've been good, like people have been taking care of me. So I've been doing good without my family. But again, yeah, like I wouldn't be here if it weren't for them. Like they're everything to me. Yeah, um, to go off what they said, the coaches are great. They just really care about us, you know, off the court. Their biggest concern is, you know, of course they want us to perform our best here while we're here our four years, but it's about what we're gonna do after them, you know, pushing us to be better women than we were than we when we first stepped on campus. So I really, you know, appreciate them and cherish them because of that. Because like Lex was saying, some coaches just, you know, this is their job. This is how they feed their families. You're we're just another player to them. But you know, they really um care about us and try to show that throughout 
you know, off the court, taking us to lunch or, you know, just side talks or whatever it may be. They just really try to show that they care about us off the court and not just on the court. And um, family to me is huge. Um, like Lex was saying, I'm older now. So being away from home is not that, you know, big of a deal to me. Um, and I just go home when I, when I go home, but I love my family and uh, I talk to them all the time because I'm so far away. And um, I cherish those phone calls all the time because I don't really see them as often as I, you know, usually do when I went to, you know, Cincinnati, which was four hours away opposed to this, which is like almost seven hours. So, um, so yeah. So in saying all that, I think you pretty much just uh, answer my next question then, which is what does the sport of basketball mean to all three of you? I think it's a big part of like my life because I've been playing it for so long. Like when I stop playing basketball, it's just going to be like weird because I just don't know what to do. So like, it just means so much to me. And it's like always pushed me to do better. Like through high school, it's pushed me to do better in the classroom and just to overall be a better person. Yeah, to go off what Emily said. Like, I don't know what I would do without basketball. Um, like last semester when I wasn't working out because I decided to transfer, like I didn't know what to do with myself. Like I had so much free time and it's just so weird. Like I couldn't imagine being a normal college student, like not, a, not an athlete. And it just like, it teaches you things that you wouldn't, you wouldn't learn without the sport. Like you have to overcome hardships, you face adversity. It's, it's stuff that, as a basketball player, if you don't have this, like it just sets you up for life. So yeah, like basketball is a part of me and I honestly don't know what to do if I, if I didn't have it. Yeah, like I was saying before, it's so crazy to me that I'm playing in college now because I never really liked basketball when I was young, like coming up. But now like I have no idea like where, where I would be without the game. And I think it's just, something that you know we cherish the most because we just you just never know where it's going to take you who you're going to be able to meet um it teaches you life skills like Lex was saying you have to be you have to be able to work with people that you may not like you may love it you know you just have to try try to figure it out um we go through a lot of adversity uh especially last year I feel like that was something that like really helped all of us in the world you know, handle adversity and learn how to get through difficult situations. But, you know, just the game itself just is a beautiful thing. And I think that it brings a lot of people, a lot of lessons. And that's, you know, what I cherish the most about it. We'll finish with these last two, which is, and both of them are lighthearted questions. The first one is, who's the comedian, the best singer and the best dance on the team? Um, I think the comedian is KK. Definitely. <laughs> um, I don't know. Who, oh, Summer can sing. Mm -hmm. Yeah. I don't know about a dancer. <laughs> well, I would I would say that Zeta is the comedian on the team. Um, singer, probably Summer or Aaliyah. Aaliyah's kind of shy. She doesn't really sing, but she can sing. But Summer's not shy. And dancer, I would say Nay. Janae danced a lot, so mm, we got some tiebreakers. <laughs> um, and the final one is, do either of you have a pregame superstition or ritual? Um, for me, I don't. I just, well, I kind of do the same thing every time, but if it changes, like, I don't get like superstitious about it. I just try to, you know, relax my mind before the game starts, whatever that may be, whatever I have to do to do that, then that's what I do. Um, yeah, honestly, like I don't really have one either. I just make sure to go get my treatment. Um, well, I'll, I'll wear the same socks, but like if they're being washed, it's not really a big deal to me. But yeah, I'm not really superstitious like that. Yeah, I also don't really do anything like you just kind of have to go with the flow. Like, like you never know what's going to happen before the game. So you can't get in your head that if something's messing up, then it's, you're not going to play as well. So I just try to just go with the flow. Either of you have any embarrassing moments on the court? Well, this has happened on several occasions. 
um, I'll get a steal and miss a wide open layup. I feel like that's the most embarrassing thing that's ever happened to me. Like I worked so hard to get a steal and then for me to miss the layup, it's just embarrassing and pitiful. So yeah, it's happened several times. I mean, I guess I would say the same thing. Or like if you have like a wide open three and you just airball it, I mean, that can always happen. (laughs) Um, no, I mean, I would just agree with what they said. And like with me, like sometimes I'll just fall like for no reason. And I'm just like on the ground and the game is still going on and it takes me forever to get back up. But yeah, other than that, nothing too crazy. Well, all three, thank you so much for giving up your time to join us uh, today to join us. Uh, Best of luck once the season starts uh, later this year. Uh, Obviously, uh, we're uh, training uh, to obviously back um, after the summer break and uh, hopefully all goes well for App State and uh, we'll be definitely be cheering for you uh, once the season gets underway. Thank you. Thank you so much.